Yo, what up, what up? What up, squad? This is CPA Strength. Who am I? I am the strongest licensed CPA in Florida. What do you do, CPA Strength? I teach the accounting. I teach the world accounting basics. That's what I do over here. Building blocks, one little step at a time. That's how we get it done here. Let's go, man. I'm on a grind. I'm on the grind. I can't be stopped. I ain't burning out because I love this. Let's go. What are you doing today? What are you doing today? Today I'm doing accounting for beginners. This is my classic series. This is the, the classics. It's the classics, boy. You ready? All that drama, all that outside drama, get it out. Get it out. We're, gonna, we're learning. We're getting smart here. We're, we're trying to better our future. We're trying to get some chippers up. Let's go. Get all that drama out, man. We're learning right now. Let's go. We're doing number 45. Counting for beginners number 45. In inventory perpetual. We're doing a summary. We're doing a summary of our last three videos. But hey, if you haven't seen those or any other ones and you're new to here, I know you've been binge watching, but if you happen to be new here, this is the playlist. There's a card to the best playlist in the world. Best playlist in the world. It'll let you do anything you want in life. Just watch that. So, let's go. What, you said this is a summary? Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a summary, man. What are you going to summarize? <sighs> well, we're going to summarize. First in, first out, FIFO. Last in, first out, LIFO. Weighted average, which is just the average all three of these and see the difference now the average the average I think is kind of simple we're still going to briefly go over that but it's kind of different than FIFO and uh, LIFO and now I always say don't abbreviate but this is our third video I've written it out so now since you know what these are now we can start abbreviating because we need to go a little faster this the summary of our last couple videos is basically going to be mostly on FIFO and LIFO and the costs the cut co you know what happened to the costs this year the inventory this year the net income this year between FIFO and LIFO we're just going to compare them and the summary is really a little dig deeper the summaries are how I got good at accounting I stopped worrying about that this was taking forever and I just I just figured uh, different things take different times so I'm gonna learn this so I just didn't worry about how long it took I liked it if it would take me a shorter time to learn something but the summary is basically me going through when I was learning this stuff five ten years ago um, probably five years ago or six years ago when it started clicking into my head is when it started clicking into my head is when I learned the DC Adler you know it's my mapping system I started using the DC Adler and then I started like just going the extra mile the extra mile being this up here kind of you know or or doing this doing basically doing this you know and then then making like a nice little summary page that makes sense in my head because I wrote it. It's my little summary page. And now I use that to accompany homework problems. And if I keep getting the homework problems right, that means my basic formula, you know, with what's, what costs more, uh, more and less. And so the inverse of that. So my formulas are correct if I'm getting the homeworks correct. If I'm getting homeworks incorrect, that means something's wrong with my basics. So I need to go back to my formula or something's wrong. So I always like to do lots and lots and lots of homework, even though if it's if I, it's so-called too easy for me, nothing's really too easy for me. I learn a lot from uh, a very beginner asking a question, which is funny because a beginner doesn't know any, doesn't know why it shouldn't be or why it isn't. It's just. Mm, I like it because a beginner intuitively, like, you know, I teach beginners online here or on YouTube. So I get questions from beginners. Well, why isn't this, you know, why isn't a truck an expense? You know, and, and you're like, oh, you know, just 
something, something, well, yeah, well it is after a while. So anyways, we're gonna summarize. Let's go, it's to the point now where I've done a lot of talking, a lot of lead in. Right now, probably five minutes, that's all you gotta give me. We're gonna, we're gonna do a summary. And this is how you would value an inventory. And a lot of pro and a lot of problems I remember taking it's like they'll tell you, you know, how would you value the inventory for sale? And then like and in other other questions to do journal entries and stuff, it would be, you know, we're we're valuing the inventory by LIFO and per per widget it's you know, whatever, ten, twenty dollars. Like they'll tell you how much the inventory is. So that would be a really big problem to have to figure out um to figure out what the in what how much the inventory is and then have a journal entry of selling it and buying it. We're probably gonna run through some of those problems. Alright, let's go. Let's get the summary. Oh, I'm getting hot. I'm sorry. I, I won't talk about my hair. I just gotta take my hat off, alright? Ooh, touchdown. All right, let's go. Dang, I haven't... I haven't given a bicep shot in a little bit. Mm. All right, let's go. What's the difference here? So, all facts were the same. We bought one. Look, we bought a widget for $10. We bought a widget, whether it's FIFO, LIFO, or average. We still... Facts remain for our inventory. We still have always 60 in our inventory here. Because we bought in January, we bought a widget for $10. February, we bought a widget for $20. March, we bought a widget for $30. So the inventory is all, what's in our, what's in our warehouse is all the same amounts. And it's just, how are we going to value what's coming out? And a big thing of this, which I didn't really touch on before, which came to mind now, it's, we go easy with um, one selling one widget at a time, but the thing is, what happens when you start selling two widgets at a time? You know, if you sell two, how how much does how much does each one cost? Because each one you bought one, you bought one for different, and you're selling two, and you don't know which ones you're selling, so you have to either do a FIFO, a LIFO or an average, say if you start selling two. In our examples, we sold one, so you're like, well, I know which one I'm selling. Anyways, let's go. So if you have 60, 60 in your inventory, no matter what, all facts are the same here. Here's where our facts start to get different, and let's, let's, figure, out, let's figure out the cost of goods sold in the inventory, and then I'll come back. First in, First in, first out. Let's figure out the cost of goods sold in inventory of the first in, first out. Alright. First in was the January, and that's the first out. So first in, first out right here. That's our cost of goods sold. Okay? Cogs right here. Cogs. So that means... Right? Because first in, first out. That was the first in, that's the first out. Cost of goods sold, $10. Because that's how much... The good that we sold cost in our inventory, $10. So, we had 60 in our inventory. That's what we always have in our beginning inventory. I should have wrote that down, but we know that from our past ones. I've been used to say 60 in our beginning inventory. So, we got rid of, we got rid of 10. 60 minus 10, 60 minus 10 is 50. Also, you could look at, well, inventory, because we're doing inventory now. What is, what is in our, in our inventory? A 20 plus a 30 is left in our inventory, that's a 50. That's our inventory, is a 50. And inventory, 50 right here. You might see that. You have inventory, you sell something, so whatever is left is still your inventory. I'm just, you know, I want you to see things right here because we're doing the summary. Let's go to LIFO. Last in, first out. Which would you last, the last one in was the one in March. So that means it's the first out. Okay, so right here. This is our cost of goods sold here. The 30. 30 is cost of goods sold for LIFO. Cost of goods sold. 
Cost of goods sold, 30. What's the inventory? Well, we know the beginning was 60. 60 minus 30 is 30 is the inventory. Or you could just simply look in your picture what's left here. What's left after you sold this for 30? So what's left is a 10 and a 20. That's your inventory. So 30 is your inventory. All right, you got that? So, you know, you're gonna start, once you know it, you can just do like, I think my original FIFO LIFO video, like AFP number 11 or something. I just went really fast and that's what I would do on if I would get a inventory, if I have to value, if I would have to do a LIFO or FIFO average question or like on the CPA exams, they would ask a lot of times, it was like, well, what's, uh, what would it do to the net income? You know, would it raise the net income or would it lower it? Or what about next year? What would it do next year? So I would just do really fast, you know, FIFO, LIFO, 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. And then I would sell, I know FIFO, first one, boom. And then I would circle these cogs inventory. So I'd go real fast. And then I'd see that. Now we're back for the summary. We want to compare and contrast FIFO and LIFO. We figured out cost of goods sold inventory, right? We figured out that. Well, it's like, let's go the extra mile. What does it all mean here? I know what we can do real fast. Let's figure out the net income. Let's think logically here. Let's think logically. Costs are down here, because we have more inventory. So the costs are down. Inventory is worth a lot more. The costs are down. All right. So costs are down in FIFO. Inventory up. All right, I'll put arrows next to these when I get going. Versus over here, look, costs are up over here. Costs are up over here, that means your inventory is down. Okay. So now, well let's think about it. If in FIFO, your costs, your costs are down in FIFO, costs are down. If costs are down, that means your net income would be up. Because what is net income? Net income is revenue minus expenses. Okay. We're not talking, what are we talking? We're talking right here, we're talking our expenses, our costs are down. So that means uh, our profits up, our net income's up. Costs down, profits up. Just think about it logically. Think about any, you know, a widget, selling widgets. That's what we're doing. So, because a widget can be something that you've personally sold. So what is a widget in your head? All right, where was I? Because that was good, right? It can be anything, like whatever you sell. That's why we're doing widgets. Whatever and what you want in your head, you gotta be a little creative. <clears throat> I feel like I'm onto something here. Let's go over to life, folks. I feel like I was onto something. Stay with me, stay with me. Just a couple more minutes. Um, LIFO is, look, costs, costs are up. If costs are up, that means our net income is going to be down. So, kind of has inverse relationship, right? Cost down, net income up. Cost, cost up, net income down. Now that's this year. What happens next year? I want to do a little side piece. This is what you got to think. What happens next year? We have a fight for and life for. What happens next year? I'm almost out of time, so I got to go fast. Look up here in the top right hand corner here. Look, you've got uh, two, two widgets left in inventory. This is for next year. 50, 50 inventory for FIFO, 30 in LIFO, divided by two. So FIFO, 25 per, and in LIFO, it's 15 per widget. So next year, look, these are our costs, right? Are these our costs? Yes, these are what's our in inventory. So next year, these are gonna be our cost of goods sold. If we sell these first, if this is all we have, <clears throat> you know, but are we going to do a LIFO or FIFO or average or whatever? So it's crazy. But anyways, it's like laugh now, cry later. Because look, um, if, if, they cost, if they cost more or less next year, that means whatever costs more, whatever costs less is going to be... So look, you're going to make... LIFO costs less. So next year, next year, because next year you're gonna make more money. Because let's say these sell these two, let's say you get a hundred chippers, hundred chippers next year off this LIFO. It only costs you 30, so you make 70 next year. Over here you make a hundred chippers 
Well, you have 50 in here, so you only make 50 next year. Damn, the camera just shut off on me like that. I couldn't have it. I couldn't have it. Okay, so that's so that's next year. So, see, this year, I'm saying it's it's a laugh now, cry later kind of thing with with uh, accounting, and and you'll notice, especially with like inventory and cost of goods sold and net income, it's like they always kind of reverse, like make more money this year, make less the next year, and it's kind of flip flops back and forth. What's great about uh, accounting sometimes, like, on a question, they'll be like, what would you do to correct the error? And you're like, oh, nothing, time will correct it itself. And they're like, you're right. And I was like, heh. <laughs> so, but, um, this year in FIFO, you would, you would make more money. Your income would be higher. You would make more money. Next year, it would be lower. Uh, LIFO, this year, you make less money uh, next year you make more money so it's the inverse anyways I don't really know what I got for for to, to try to motivate you guys man you, you're with me anyways I'm out here grinding I'm out here going hard people are worried about me burning out ain't gonna happen I love this let's go till I see you next time deuces